Yes, the 90s is back and Sunin is making an appearance in everyone's bathroom. I'm all for DIY hair hacks. I love showing everybody how to achieve certain blondes or hair colors on their own hair. So do I approve of using Sunin on your hair? Let's talk a little bit about it. Some things have changed with this product compared to what you are used to seeing back in the 80s or 90s. They do have a lot more conditioning products or ingredients inside this product that are a little less drying, but the two main ingredients in Sunin that really kind of make this product work are hydrogen peroxide, which that breaks down the melanin in your hair, the, the kind of color or tone of your hair, and it pulls that melanin out. And lemon juice is the second ingredient in this product, and that is what speeds up that lightening effect. So whether you're out in the sun or you're using the blow dryer, the lemon juice accelerates removing that melanin out of your hair. Hydrogen peroxide and lemon juice, those products will kind of damage or weaken your hair because it is removing that melanin out of it and it's going to make the cuticle just be a little bit weaker. So you're gonna notice a little bit more frizz, you might notice a little more damage. Um, and just kind of maybe weakened ends. But again, I do hair. I am a licensed cosmetologist. I have clients come in to me and guess what I use in my lifting services when I'm using bleach? Hydrogen peroxide. So we also, as hairstylists, use hydrogen peroxide just like the Sun and product does. But if you think about when you are going into a hairstylist, they have different levels of peroxide. So 10 volume, 20 volume, 30 volume, and 40 volume. So it is a little bit more control over what your hairstylist is using, which this, it just has hydrogen peroxide in it. I couldn't even tell you the volume. There's zero control with it whatsoever. So you could say both of them, yes, have hydrogen peroxide in it. I'm not really sure which one would be better, but I think the fact that a hairstylist, or even if you're doing it on yourself and you use the different volumes of developer, there is a little bit more control and a little less damage if you are the one putting it on your hair. Hey, and you know what? Now is a perfect time. If you haven't done so yet, hit that red subscribe button. So that way you do not miss out on any of my new videos. And if you end up enjoying this video, you can hit that like button at any time that you want while you're watching and I greatly appreciate you doing so. Now let's put this stuff on some hair so you can kind of see what it does while we get more into what I like and dislike about this product and if I approve. So let's go get my mannequin. So unlike when you go into the salon with Sunin, you are just spraying it on. I do not love that you don't have as much control with this. You are literally taking it, kind of spraying it wherever it'll go. It's not really kind of a controlled spray, if you will, versus bleach. You are putting it on a brush. This kind of, you can see it kind of got on her face a little bit and this, you just kind of spray on and hope for the best. I am going to comb it through and then I'll take the blow dryer to it and let this hair lift, I guess. So I'm going to keep this hair kind of out of her face and not do this side so we can kind of see how much it lifts. So you don't have control over sun in. On the back of this bottle, it tells you kind of different ways you can do it. They have a festival frame, which is face framing highlights. And that's where you just kind of spray like I did. They have a beach balayage, which is just spraying mostly the ends. And then they have a summer honey, which is an all over. You spray it all over your hair, into damp hair. Then you massage it in and blow dry it and then let it be. But as you can see with my mannequin, she has super, super dark hair. So one thing that I do not love about Sun In, it doesn't lift a whole lot for someone who has dark hair. To use it, you need more like medium hair, something similar to more my natural color. 
because it's only gonna lift roughly about maybe one, two, maybe three levels. But if you know anything about hair color or kind of underlying pigment, everybody, when you put bleach, sun in, anything on your hair and you are getting it lifted, undertones are always gonna be warm. So if you do not like warm, kind of goldeny or even copper tones on your hair and you have dark hair, you will not like sun in. So what happens, someone wants to be super blonde and they have my colored hair, they spray it on and they see orange and they go, shoot, okay, I kind of messed up. I'm just gonna go into my hairstylist and have her fix this, but they're embarrassed to admit that they use sun in on their hair. So you go in, the stylist has no clue that you have it on your hair, and then they're putting bleach over the top of the sun in. That creates the most damage. It's almost like double processing your hair. Cause like I said, we have bleach and we use hydrogen peroxide, but then you just sprayed all this bleach on your hair and it's already creating damage and it's just not good for your hair. I have done a test strand on someone before that used sun in and their ends stretch. If you can see my hair, whenever I pull on it, it has kind of that snap and give, but it's not stretchy at all. It does not kind of gum out. Think of cotton candy. That's how my client's ends look. They look like cotton candy. It almost just stretched like cotton does, and that's not good. So sun in, please, if you've ever used it on your hair whatsoever, say you wanna go lighter, you wanna do something to your hair, tell your hairstylist so they can do a test strand. That's why a lot of us hairstylists do not love sun in, because even if you color over the top of it and it's been a few years, sun in is still underneath there. So you have to be super careful and do test strands because you never really know what it's going to do if you're trying to lift it or color over the top of the sun in. So personally for me, sun in, it's not a terrible thing. I don't think it's horrible. I think you have less control over it. So I do not love that there is less control. You're just spraying it on kind of no rhyme or reason. So you're not going to get a very seamless blended look if you're not able to control where the sun in is going. It doesn't make your hair super, super light. So for my dark haired girls, if you want blonde, I know it's more expensive, but just go into your hairstylist. And another reason why I don't love it is because people kind of forget. It may be three years, but if you did it three years ago, it's still on your ends. Your hair doesn't grow that fast. It's still gonna be on the bottom half of your hair and it can cause you know uneven or unpredictable results or potentially gummy damaged ends. So do I like sun in? It's okay. It's, it's not a horrible, horrible thing. I think it will definitely lighten your hair a little bit if you don't want a lot of shift. But if you want to try it on your hair, just be careful with it and do not forget to tell your hairstylist if you have it on your hair, please, please, please. I don't want you to have a shaved head. So now do we dare go look at our mannequin and see what happened to her hair? Let's go get her. Okay, hey, here she is. Again, like I said, her hair is very, very dark. I sprayed it on this left side. I did not get kind of this front piece. You can kind of see where it's a little bit more bouncy. This side I dried the sun in, in and I just don't really see a whole lot of difference. It does have a little bit more kind of a warmer tone to it and maybe like a level different, but I just can't really see. But I want you to look at something. Check out my fingertips. Can you guys see those white little dots on my fingers and on my thumb? So I sprayed the hair and was just holding the hair. And that is what hydrogen peroxide does to your hands. Think what it does to your hair. Dries them out. I can. They're a little itchy. They feel a little dry. So that is something that it does to your hair too. Dries it out, makes it, you know, just a little bit more damage. But I really just don't see a shift in her hair at all. So that's why I say if you have super, super dark hair, I mean, you may get a slight shift. You might pull some warm undertones, but it just doesn't work that great for super dark hair. 
Now on my hair, if I did it, you could definitely, you'd probably be able to see kind of some lighter pieces in there. And then my blondes, you will notice kind of brighter, kind of those bleached out ends in the summer, like when you're a little kid and you have kind of those really pretty highlights. So it is only for certain hair colors if you are gonna wanna see a difference on your hair. So I will tell you, sun in is not a bad thing, but it's just not for everybody. And if you already have damaged or dry hair, just stay away and go to your hairstylist. I hope you guys like this video. Yes, sun in is back and you may try it on your hair. You may not, but I hope this helped you guide you on making the correct decision for yourself. If you have any questions whatsoever or want any more information, please do not hesitate to reach out on any of my social medias. I'll go ahead and pop all those up on the screen. And as always, don't hesitate to leave a comment if you have any questions or you just want to tell me you love this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you next time and bye-bye.